you guys know who Meet Kevin is? No. Nah. He started out as this like fantastically famous real estate broker. Oh, um, I think I've heard this. He got really big on YouTube actually by roasting Grant Cardone and they even pulled this like prank on Grant, Grant Cardone's office. Um, this is him knocking doors for a pest control company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen this video before, uh, bro. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see how his approach is. It's like literally everyone, they're like, oh, I bet you ever get that with Rifts? are like, oh, I've been in sales. This will be fine. I'm like, it won't be fine, bro. No, it's not going to be fine. <laughs> it's not no, going to be fine. Nothing will be actually fine. You will describe nothing about the summer as, quote, <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with that mentality, right? you're yeah. like, I, I got this. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I've done sales before. Like, I, I'm good. Not necessarily that it'll be you're worse good, than man. fine. I promise you, of all fine. the things you can be certain about, being good is not one of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My name is Kevin. I'm your neighborhood bug guy. I'm just I mean, begging you listen gosh, to me. Please, bro. just begging. Just please listen Going to me. Going from Jordan to that? Bro, but you know, it's like. I mean, he's, right, he's yelling say, right? through the window. Like, I'm know, Kevin. Still, I'm your bug and obviously guy. This is the first time he's like done this yeah but, yeah yeah um, we always talk about like if, if you had to choose between like being just totally certain and sounding like an absolute a-hole versus being beggy on the doors and you chose to be beggy people would hate you in a way that you've never experienced before yep. versus just being an a-hole yep. yeah they will yep. hate you hate you because you're so patronizing mm -hmm. to them yep what's the pitch again you know what? I managed to thank you very much. And that's the coolest part about our training is... That was a good rejection. <laughs> <laughs> it's like smiling. It's You're trying to ironic. essentially manipulate people to feel good. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you? My name's uh, Kevin. We're with... <laughs> we're the bug guys. And uh, we've got a few of these <laughs> over here. A bunch of your neighbors uh, signing up with pest control. They're already getting service. We wanted to see... Uh, we've got a special running right now for our neighbors. What kind of problems you've been having, spiders, ants? What are you having out here? Uh, we actually okay, pause. Hey, not, it, not, not, bad, not terrible. Not a like, bad approach. Pros. De decent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty, he pretty he sounds like himself. Fundamentally, definitely uh, sounds like himself. He's 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 like like there's parts obviously where it's like okay, but it seems like at parts he doesn't know what he's gonna say before he actually says it. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Like it seems like he's almost like not going as the script. That's basically. okay though. What I'm saying is that's okay because it makes him sound authentic and like it's he's and himself, dude, right? I mean. I am, I'm and actually, obviously a successful realtor, so yeah, for sure. So he's like, I mean, he, he, knows. he understands. He's got confidence in himself, and he's gonna, you know, he's he he, he can he's gonna be himself regardless, right? If this I'm isn't a defining moment for him, for sure. If I'm the customer, I'm definitely not thinking this guy's lying to me with his voice, right? 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 Or patronizing me. Um, although I would say just. I mean, his Overall, body language. And yeah, the body language is, is when, when you're unfamiliar like with what you're saying, your your body language is always going to kind of suck. Yeah. Um, and if you notice it does that, he's not making good eye contact. <laughs> no, no, it's if, brutal. If they were in a rich real, real, neighborhood, real quick, he would get him. thrown off the door. Yeah. Set. Can you yeah. can you go back to the car ride? <laughs> I just want to point out the difference between his voice in the car ride and the <laughs> difference between his voice on the doors. We're doing things to get people to do things like smiling. It's you're trying to ironic. essentially manipulate people to feel good. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Is brutal. I just want to say, yeah, yeah. Hi, yeah. how are you? That is like, how are you? I don't really care. That that may be the biggest mistake that I see sales reps oh, make man. when they're like brand new sales reps and they're doing this for the first time, is they speak way out of the register of their voice, and yep. that yep. just screams, yep. "I'm lying to you." Because oh, who do we speak to like that? You. Yeah. Who do we speak to like that? Babies and dogs. Yep. Right? Like, actually, that, <laughs> yeah. when you talk to a dog, you're like, hi, puppy, like, how are you? And you talk to a baby, it's like, oh, he's so cute, right? Unless you don't like dogs, so, you know? Yeah. And then it's dogs, only babies. Then, yeah. yeah. I talk to my dogs like I talk to any human. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Just a psychopath. <laughs> hey, how are you? What's up, Ind? How you, how's your <laughs> <going, bro? laughs> No, but my point actually, is. Actually, that's how I talk to babies, now that I think about it. Dude, so I, like, when I have kids, I will have a hard rule of not and ever patronizing them with my voice. My One of my uncles, he, that's how he raises his kids. He's like, I'm always going to talk to them like an intelligent human because they just mimic you anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, like, by the time they were, like, five, six, seven years old, they just knew their vocabulary was incredible because, like, of course you would learn incredible vocabulary mm -hmm. if you were just being talked to like yeah. an adult all the yeah, time, yeah. you know? Yeah. I said, well, like, that patronizing like this? Like you're incompetent and I have to talk to you this way because I know so much more than you and I'm better than you. Yeah, which that's literally how people I sell. Yeah. That's how people sell. They go knock on doors and these adults and they're like, hi, hey, like, so I'm the reason Johnny? I'm stopping by. The reason yeah, I'm stopping like, by? It's like, oh my gosh. Please like, stop. That's why people, people wonder. Hey, how are you? The hey, problem, hey, bro, the problem is that people it. think that they're being nice. Like when you're at the <clears> cash register. Because like, I got to be yeah. nice. Right? I don't want to be that like pushy yeah. guy. It's like. 
When you're at the cash, I take the pushy, whatever that was. I take Same. pushy. Oh, 100 percent. When you're at the cash Not register, and and someone's like, and someone's talking to you that way. Again, it's like the implication, the social implication is like, oh, this is the way we talked to you when we were trying to be nice. But when someone's already triggered at you, which they are, if you're knocking on <laughs> Always, their door, you have to assume that doesn't work. You're never knocking a door assuming like, ah, this guy's gonna, oh, this guy's gonna be so... To see me. I yeah, can't yeah. wait for this next one. Bug guys, and uh, we've got a few of these... So his body language is just like, he's constantly kind of looking away. And service. We wanted to see, uh, we've got a special running right now for our neighbors. What kind of problems you've been having, spiders, ants? What are you having out here? Uh, we actually have corkies going for us right now. And have you considered... Uh, see, that and, part, and, it's and, like and, a little more... He's like not, he's he's kind of stumbling over his words a little bit, and, and then it makes him... The reason him why he's not getting authentic. cut off is because he's not pausing in weird places either. Yeah. So like it's, he's, he's talking normal enough in a conversation where like there's no logical break in his pauses. To well, think about like his pitch. Off. His pitch was, we wanted to see if we've got a couple of trucks in the area. If you guys had any issues with the impetus, like, like you literally, like if yeah. you were to write that in a book, you'd be fired because that, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. sense right. But, but, but it's like in the spoken word, like we talk about, like, Oh, I forgot to tell you, we actually have trucks already here. And that's why we're off. Yeah. But special. it's just so normal. I don't want to just so natural. Oh man, I forgot. Yeah. It's because the trucks are here. Um, obviously. Right. Like he's not to say that, but obviously right. it's implied that they're here. Right. And, and I just want to point out, we're seeing a special um, and we wanted to, you know, see if you, what kind of bugs you guys have more ants or spiders. I actually really like that. Although you could say it better. Um, with I, I just want to point out, he's not doing that consciously. There's no way that no, he's doing that. No, consciously. no, no. That's a natural this part is of an example. Yeah. And this is actually an example for like all our reps for the summer is as they start memorizing, because he doesn't have anything memorized, presumably right now, uh, as they start memorizing their pitches is the first step that you have to do. Right. You, the goal is to sound Honestly. like that. This is what a raw, natural sounding person like look this is what it sounds like when you're like stumbling over your words you don't know what you're gonna say before you're gonna say that once you start memorizing it doesn't sound like this anymore Bro. you start to sound like a like a you know like a siri voice reading you no know, actually text. yeah you know what i mean so that that's what i did want to point out is just fundamentally it doesn't make sense that's good I, I, we want exactly that. because people can connect the dots exactly yeah, yeah no she knows exactly what she's what he's talking about dude um i think it's a he actually where is it I'm not sure. Oh, is it a he? I don't know. It's, uh, I, 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 oh, yeah, it's a he, he. But uh, have you ever heard me talk about like what people should say on their first day or their first week as rookies? Like how honest in their words? Because the words just don't matter at that point. Oh, they sell a ton. Yeah. So you're like, hey, you know, my name is Hayden. Um, uh, I'm out here with Moxie. And the reason I'm stopping by is because um, I really broke and I needed money for college. <laughs> and this is actually my first day on the job. And I'm, I, I know we have a good service. I don't know anything about it. But I know we have a really good one because of, of you know, of everything, everyone's so awesome in our company. And like, that's I, why I chose to be here, obviously. But anyway, it's my first day <laughs> and um, and I don't really, if I'm being honest, I like actually don't really know what I'm doing, but I am super passionate about helping people get rid of their bugs. And so, you know, I'd love for you to just give it a shot. We got a special going on right now. If I could fit you guys in, it's, I, I, my manager told me to say that it's really cheap. I don't actually know what that means, but I'm sure we could work out a deal. <laughs> Dude, I, it's, I, it's would buy, I would straight up. You'd buy. Sell. I've done that on the doors with reps, just like demonstrating. I'm going to say, hey, I'll stop the customer and be like, I'm about to say what I think this guy should be saying. If you just bear with me for a second. And then you say that and it's like, how does that feel? They're like, uh, I mean, yeah, how much does it cost? I'm actually kind of interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, let me tell you. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's it's it's all it's all about it, 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 like a lot of times we see this all the time where a lot of times rookies will come out not knowing anything, mm. not preparing really at all for the summer and which is you shouldn't do. It's, it means there's a higher learning <laughs> curve. But what tends to happen is then they come out and they just they're, we tell them to, hey, be themselves, be the most confident version of yourself and try to be a little happy and like, you know. Just be, just be kind of happy. You trip and, over and, two sales a day, and, and they sell happy, super well, and they sell super well for the first week, a week and a half, and then they start understanding what they're doing wrong, and they start understanding ways that, like, oh, I can improve this and this. Boom, sales go down because they start sounding rote. 